This is Aaron Trader. It is Thursday morning, so it's time to review crude oil here and natural gas. Now remember, on natural gas, the EAA report will be out today at 1030. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell the stock, buy the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil all stretched right on up. Now, we can see here what we had yesterday. Okay, we had a topping tail going on right there. Now, again, uh, it came down, but it, you notice that it did hold this key 21 SMA here, okay? And your 8 SMA here is moving on up. If you can get a bullish cross here, then we can push it higher. However, if it comes like where you are doing like this 8 SMA came right here, then she rolled over very, very nicely. Now, the key to all this here is going to be this 8 SMA here, okay? See what we have here? It went up right into that there for the weekly. That's 75.13. Well, 75.14 now, okay? So this here, you need to close above. That is going to be the key. If you can close above that, then what we do is we look to yesterday's high. You're looking at uh, 75.37. And then we come here, we're looking at uh, 76.76. And then we have your 200 SMA here. Uh, where are we sitting at there? Uh, let me just take this down a little bit there. Okay. Now, you take that 200 SMA here. You're looking at um, a 77, 73, which lines up very, very nicely here with this 50 SMA here at 78.05. Now, you can see your 50 SMA rolling down here, your 21-day here rolling down here. Now, the only one that's curling up here is this 8 SMA here. So we got to see if you can make the bullish cross on that here, like say you had here, see how that went above that 21 day and then it just rallied right on up here. But if it can't, it goes here and touch it, it can roll over very, very easily, okay? <clears throat> so the key today is going to be right here. This key level right there is going to be this 8 SMA here, okay? 75.14. Now you have to close above. That is going to be extremely extremely important okay if you can then we just go to yesterday's high and then we can rally right on up here because when you look at this like this 200 day here and you look at that uh, 50 day here lines up very very nicely here with your 50 day here so roughly the target is going to be around the 78 area here if again if you can close above the uh, 8 SMA here and yesterday's high now remember seasonality is in play here so it should rally up here really nicely here into uh, the first week of January. But now you notice here, like on the regular markets here, you got topping patterns here. Yesterday it sold off and it sold off hard real quick here. So always got to be careful of what's going on here with these all these markets. Now, let's just look at the downside. Well, first of all, we want to do is we want to look here at this key 21 SMA. This is very, very crucial, okay? You're sitting at 73.11. If that is lost, then we have the 8 SMA here right below it at 72. 15 okay that's very very crucial now again if that's lost there then what we do is we come over to this 200 SMA here this is sitting at uh, 70 58 that's going to be very very crucial also now you look here you can see where the it came down here but you closed back above here that was very very key you closed back above here last week here even though you, you made a lower low here but you're holding this key 200 SMA here, sitting at that 70, uh, 58 here, and that is very, very key here, okay? So downside, watch that 21 day here, watch this 8 SMA here, and watch that key 200 day. If that is lost here, then we just follow these candles down here, okay? So you're looking at uh, uh, 70.99 here, we're looking at here at uh, 70.64, we have uh, 69.54, and then we can just follow this candles down here where you got uh, 69.11 here. You have uh, 68.22. And then your big retest is 67.71. Okay. So again, that would be your target 67.71. Now, again, if that's lost here, we know where it's going to go. You're going to go to the 67.05 here and possibly even down to the lower candle here of that 63.64. But that's off in the distance. Right now, worry about the 21 the 8 SMA here, and this 200 day. That's what you're looking at today, okay, on the downside. On the upside, you want to watch that key, 75.14. Now, not on intraday like it did yesterday, but you need to close above it. That's the key. And then with Lou, as you look at this 73 or 75.37 here, that was yesterday's high, and then we can just rally all the way up here 
<clears throat> until you come up here to the 78 uh, area. All right, let's take a look here and see what's going on with natty gas. All right, here we have natural gas, okay, your daily and your weekly chart here, okay? So now, you can see yesterday here, well, last three, you know, three days here, okay? You had a nice rally here off the bottom. <clears throat> there was no divergence here, nothing, but you had a nice rally, went right up in here, right into the 200-day. Yesterday, same thing, pulled right on back. Now, what we have is just sideways action going on here. Okay, the sideways action here. So now what you do is you basically you got a trading range here, okay? So you're looking here at this 260 area here on the top, and you're looking here on the bottom of this candle here, you're looking at uh, uh, 2.38, okay? So we had a nice double bottom here. See this, you had 2.38, and then right here we had 2.385. So you had a higher low, so that told me to go and get long, and that was a nice scalp all the way up here. And then. When I get out of the day, um, I'm clear. I have no position at the end of the day here because you just don't know what's going to happen here with the natty gas, okay? Now, yesterday, we had a little higher high, went right into resistance, and then pulled right back. Now, today, we're right back here up at a green candle, and we're holding this key uh, a 2.436. That's your 8 SMA. So, today, what you need to watch is you need to watch this 2.436. That is going to be crucial. If that is lost... Then we look here at this 2.38 level here. This is going to be your next support level. If that's lost, then we come down here to 2.32 here. you got 2.29, 2.27, and then your retest here at 2.38. If that's lost, we know where we're going, okay? We just look here on your weekly chart here, and you look here, okay? So you have 2.20, 2.17, 2. basically 1.4, 2.0. Oh, 03 and then 1.946. But that's off in the distance, but I like to show you that. Bottom line, if this 8 SMA is lost here, look to this bottom of this candle here at that 2.38. And then if that's lost, here's your gonna be your target at 2.23. Upside very easily. You want to look here, boom. What do you want to do? You want to look at this 21 day. Very, very key. And then we look here at uh, 2.62, which is basically your 200 day here and which lines up uh, pretty nice here, 2.64 is right above there. So basically that 2.6, the 2.64 area, it needs to close over. If you can, then we can do is we can follow these candles up, but your target is going to be here at 2.84 and then 2.92 and then possible 2.99. But right now you need a candle, something going on here for natural gas. However, this is really great trading. If you can hold this range here, and then the upper range here, this is some really good scalping. I mean, I scalped that UNG uh, yesterday. I scalped that KOLD uh, yesterday for the short. These are ETFs. Man, it worked out really good. So there's been some really good trading action here as far as natural gas. It's just not a where, oh, I'm gonna just going to buy this and I'm going to hold kind of a situation. You just don't have that. Okay, so bottom line, watch this 8 SMA. Very, very crucial and watch this 2.38, very, very crucial upside. Watch the 2.6 to 2.64, that is your upside target. So basically trade that range until she breaks one or the other because as that 21 day is coming down, the range is gonna tighten and tighten, tighten. So either she breaks up or she's gonna break down. Either way, you're gonna make some money. Okay, so here we have your RSI here. Okay, this is looking, uh, well, that could go either way here. You know, you can see yesterday how she fell right off the cliff. That could go either way here. But your MACD is still bullish here. Your green is above the red here. It's trying to work it here. So bottom line here, you know, don't don't have an opinion one way or the other. Just trade the range here until it breaks one way or the other. All right, that's what I got for you this morning here on the crude and natty gas. I'll have more for you after the pit close. And remember, the EIA report on uh, natty gas will be out today at 1030. Thanks for watching.